When it comes to conditions like writer's block, we are also big believers in preventative medicine. And there are a few things you can do to preempt that giant wall from sprouting up in front of you. Write every day. Start as soon as your junior year ends and the summer begins. Write our audio journal for 15 minutes a day. That's all you need. You can describe ordinary events or reflect upon random topics as you feel inspired. For example, why do you like strawberries but not strawberry-flavored things? And what if the color I see as blue and the color you see as blue are different, but we're both calling them blue? The point is to keep your brain warm and ready for that essay writing action when you decide the time is right to scan those common app questions and dig into the process of brainstorming backwards. Do a digital detox. We already mentioned the potentially harmful effects of social media on your essay writing focus, but believe it or not, the constant stimulation can actually cloud your brain. Shut down your devices for an hour or two each day. If you can't will yourself to do this, you may actually have bigger problems than writer's block. You might be a robot. Give your brain a rest and set aside some time to power down and get bored. Your brain will rebel against this state of general ennui and generate random thoughts and memories on its own if you create the space. Start early. We know. We've said it so many times we're borderline nagging you. But if at all possible, you've got to start this process early. Feeling a little stuck on August 15th is far less likely to throw you into a tailspin of panic and clog up the works than having a bad writing day on October 15th. A nice cushion of time will usually ease the pain of the process and ensure your heart rate remains normal. But what if it's too late to plan in advance? What if you're watching this video a week before the deadline? Do you feel the weight of a Mack truck on your shoulders? Are you worried that you can't do this? As reform procrastinators, we're here to tell you that you can. Is this the ideal situation to be in at this moment? Maybe not. Can you still slay the college essay dragon with some intensive training, a lot of concentration, and some good old-fashioned positive thinking? You bet. Here are a few helpful suggestions as you dig in. Don't beat yourself up. This is probably not the first time you've left something to the last minute, and it may not be the last. Your tendency to put things off doesn't make you a bad person or mean that you don't care. And we still love you. Make the best of the time you have and don't waste energy being upset about things you can't change. Cancel your plans. Did you think you were meeting up with your BFF for life to get ice cream later? We are super sad to say, no, you're not. For once, ice cream can wait. Don't make your situation worse by procrastinating more. By the way, we still believe wholeheartedly in the importance of break-taking, but ultimately your process has to be more about work than about rest, especially when you're down to the wire. Focus on the positives. Mainly, that it's all going to be over soon. In fact, procrastination is often used as a coping mechanism by perfectionists who care too much about the results of their endeavors, leaving them with only a small amount of time to obsess over the final product. See, maybe you just wanted your essay to be perfect. Whatever the case, time is going to pass quickly and you're almost out of the weeds.